All right, I think everybody is in the room. I just want to start off by saying thank you all for coming. I'm Tracy Ariel. I'm the Executive Director of Texas at Bristol. Um, I'm honored to be here today with President Lambella, President Nojakian, and the Mayor of Bristol. Um, I also I want to start off by thanking uh, the staff of Tungsis and faculty of Tungsis for helping us put this all together. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, first, we're going to have um, Victor Mitchell, who is our Director of Business and Industry, come up and say a few words. Again, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your evening. Um, my name is Victor Mitchell. I'm the Director of Business and Industry Services. Uh, over these last few years, I've also coordinated pretty much all continuing education, uh, as well as run Bristol here to keep things going. Uh, first, I want to uh, welcome Donna Leganga, who actually is in the middle there. She actually opened this place back in 2000, when you were only... Um, Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, thank you very much. It's really great. Donna and I worked together many years, not that many, but we not many years, <laughs> and, uh, uh, but again, it really, really is a pleasure to see you here. Um, Trunks is at Bristol, been here now since 2000, 2001. Um, a lot of people have gone through our doors, you may have seen some of the numbers up there, but that's only a small representation of what we do. Um, give or take in a year's time. Uh, this is a very uh, unique environment here because at one in the morning we do an EMT class, in the afternoon we do something on pet first aid, and then in the evening we do a, a, a OSHA 10 program. The reality is with four classrooms, that's all we got, um, we run close to uh, 300 to 350 events a year here. And uh, that's, that's a lot of activity, a lot of things going, going in. Uh, but again, I want to appreciate you guys for coming. Now, uh, for a... Um, um, Unabashed to the point marketing pitch. <clears throat> okay. Um, <coughs> this is our in service programs. You'll see these things out there. We also have some of the other programs, our credit uh, non credit classes that are in there. Please check them out. Please, please, please look at it. But uh, for the mayor, for the mayor. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've done a lot of training with the city of Bristol quite a bit, and, and then hopefully we'll. Keep that going. Um, but there's two programs you may just want to think about. You know, we can cut a deal on it. Um, the first one is customer service with a focus on the taxpayer. It's a class that we are running this fall. Uh, and the other one is, and this I think is, is our new one, is, is uh, using humor to reduce stress in the workplace. Oh. Not that any of us have that. <laughs> but again, welcome. Uh, if you have questions, we'll be here. Uh, I want to. Especially thank my instructors who are here. I do call them mine because we're more family than we are instructors. But because uh, uh, again, they, they're the ones who make this place work. A lot of times, folks will say, "Well, gee, look at all the great things that I have done, or, or other folks have done." The reality is, it's our instructors who sell tongues at Bristol. Uh, they're the ones that people see all the time. Me, I'm a name on a piece of paper. I may be a phone call, but it's our instructors that keep this joint going, and that's that's what's really important. Um, uh, and again, really, I want to say thank you to you. And I think I'm introducing you. Yeah. Oh, that's for me. Okay. Uh, I'd like to introduce President Jim Mundell, uh, President of Tungsis Community College and as <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It truly is a pleasure to be here today and have all of you here. I want to, again, thank the mayor. I want to thank President Ojekian uh, for joining us as well, too. Um, and also, I think, I, we have State Representative Chris I am. Oh, sorry, there you are. Pardon me. I, I knew I saw you here, so thank you for joining us today as well. Um, today really, truly is just a moment for us to stop and reflect on 18 years' worth of service here in, in the Bristol community and to reaffirm our commitment to, uh, to the community as we grow both the CS Duntuck, listen, that CS Duntuck, Tungsis main campus, but also as we grow, grow our program offerings here at uh, Tungsis at Bristol. Uh, we, are, we are here really recognizing the continued collaboration between the city of Bristol and Tuxus Community College. Um, and I'm also proud uh, to continue the tra tradition of strengthening the skilled workforce um, here in, in the area. Please take time after this to walk through and see all of our instructors and what they have set up for their programs as well. Uh, we have EMT certification, electrical trades, uh, real estate, photography, bartending, 
uh, classes with the Department of Administrative Services that we talked about. And of course, uh, we are now expanding and adding uh, more classes with the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Center that's gone in at Tungsys. And we'll be offering credit classes uh, here at the Bristol campus. Something I want to share with all of you, just so you understand that the magnitude, 2,700 students in the last year alone have walked through those doors and have received education here in Bristol. Um, that, co that compromise or composes of two, over 250 students taking things like digital photography and bartending. Over 200 individuals will come here for voting licenses. Uh, the DAS professional development, over 300 students have come through the doors in the last year. Electrical, electrician, and uh, training here, over 950 students have come here for their continuing education for the trades in, in electrical. Uh, <coughs> EMT, over 100 students for EMT, over 100 students for OSHA uh, compliance, and of course Victor mentioned that the pet first aid and real estate, over 100 uh, plus individuals here uh, for real estate. I was also talking to the, the uh, former students, one of our alums who just graduated uh, is now, with, and we're employed, you completed the real estate program, and where are you employed? I'm William Grace in Farmington. Excellent, congratulations. Thank Thank you. You. Uh, lastly, uh, with, with all that, I'm, I would just end up repeating everything, but truly uh, happy to be here, happy to have all of you supporting us. It is truly a community effort as we expand. Help spread the word about advanced manufacturing technology, both on the main campus, credit classes will be offered here. We're going to have some evening classes as well and continue to build upon what, what Victor and Donna have started 18 years ago. Let's hear it for 18 years. <laughs> My pleasure to introduce um, um, not only because he's my boss, but because <laughs> it's a pleasure because he truly is dedicated to um, higher education, workforce development, um, everything we've tried to do and expand and grow. He has been fully supportive of, and uh, I, I could just go on for ten minutes here, but I like to welcome. Ahead, uh, <laughs> I truly want, want to welcome the president of, of our entire higher education uh, system, President Marco J. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People don't usually say nice things about me, Jim, so I'm going to let you go on and on and on for a while. Um, no, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be here this afternoon. Um, thank you for everything that you've done when you were five years old. It's amazing to <laughs> you've been able to, uh, you know, to do that. But, but really to be in this um, facility, you know, I was talking to the mayor, um, who I get to introduce in a couple of minutes. Um, but the mayor and I have known each other for, for many, many years through our political uh, lives. Um, I remember many of the local landmarks. I remember marching in parades <laughs> down the street with, you know, Wyman for controller signs back in the day when our lieutenant governor was first seeking statewide office. So it's great to be back um, in the city of Bristol. My friend Chris Iogas now is your state representative. And it's nice to be able to work with him. It's nice that we're able to continue a tradition here, but also look to expand. What we have an obligation to do as a public higher education system is to be ready when our citizens and our students are ready to either change their career, find a new direction, or get a new skill set that they are going to need to succeed. And this is just one of those places. You know, people will tell you <coughs> that when I first became president of the system, we have budget challenges as do local cities and towns, and we had to look around and make some difficult choices and look at priorities because you only have so much money to spend. And one of the things that I was very interested in maintaining was our local presence in the community. I knew how important the local presence was when I was in the governor's office, and there was the threat of closing the Meriden campus of Middlesex Community College. And we were able, through a lot of hard work and partnerships, especially with our K-12 system and the city, to come up with a solution. When I asked President Lumbella to take on the challenge of two institutions as we move forward with our Students First initiative, I said to him, I don't know a lot about the Bristol Center. So I want you to go to Tuxus, go to Bristol. I think there's a need in that region and the city and the surrounding towns 
to have the kind of workforce development that is needed for the state of Connecticut, um, as well as the region. And Jim came back and said, needs to stay, needs to grow, needs to move forward, and we need to do what we can do to be the real driving force behind workforce development and economic development um, here in the state of Connecticut. So I'm always looking for other opportunities. As I was driving around, and my GPS took me a little different way, I'm like, oh, that would be a nice space to put something else or something else. Partnerships matter with the communities. Partnerships matter with the employers. Partnerships matter with the tech schools um, and with the K through 12 system. We're all part of educating Connecticut because at the end of the day, we are Connecticut. The students and the citizens we serve come from Connecticut and stay in Connecticut. Whether you're just coming out of high school or whether you're, you know, I was looking at taking the photography course, whether you're my age looking to do something different. We are Connecticut and we need to continue that momentum. Now, it's, it's my pleasure to introduce the mayor who I uh, indicated earlier I've known for many, many years. Um, she's had a long and distinguished career in politics. I think we first met when you were six. <laughs> I think it was a long, a long, long time ago. Um, and she hasn't um, actually changed a bit. As you all know, she's the first female to ever serve um, in, you know, in this position. Uh, really cares about the community. Um, it is always a force to be reckoned with um, because she really does believe um, as, a, as a resident of Bristol that we can always do better and we need to do better for the people we serve. So it's my pleasure to introduce your mayor and your son. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for having me. It's always great to get out of the office and come out to events like this. And I have a couple of comments that I wanted to make along the lines of politics, the community aspect, as well as the historical aspect. And I think from a community aspect, it actually is in the name, Tunxis Community College. And I think it's really important for us to understand that that's more than just a word, especially with Tunxis at Bristol Center right here, which is really on one of our main corridors. And for those of you who are not familiar with Bristol, this North Main Street corridor is more than just an artery heading down into where our government center is and where our future development at Center Square is. This was where all the factories were. And the name of this plaza, iconic as it is, the North Side Square, was actually the name of this neighborhood. And you would have highly um, motivated immigrants who came here, most of them not speaking the language, who would settle in the tenement houses that lined Upper North Main Street. And they came here because it was convenient. They didn't speak the language. They had to be able to walk to work. They had to be able to communicate with a foreman here at Ingrams or Mayor Silver or Sessions and be able to make money and able to go home and have their probably wife walk to the neighborhood market and be able to barter with someone in order to bring food home on a daily basis. Then they would save their money and most likely they would send it back home to their home country and then the next wave of relatives would come because this was opportunity. And that story repeats itself throughout other areas, the West End particularly, and down around uh, where the Memorial Boulevard is. But this neighborhood especially was the one where they all gathered. And then as they were successful, and as they became, um, you know, they grew into supervisor positions, they would inch up to Federal Hill. And that's where all of the industrial owners lived. And so that was a sign of success. If you were able to move out of your brick tenement apartment on North Side Square, and you were able to move into a three family, maybe on Federal Street or on Queen Street, you were moving up in the world. So the community aspect of where we are and what the center means now to a whole new generation of people in Bristol really can't be ignored because opportunities are important. And depending on what that community looks like at that point in time is where the need is. Now, partnerships are important, too, as President Ojekian talked about. And I think that in this day and age where politics is derided in so many fronts, it's so important for people to understand that that political safety net of knowing people in Hartford, knowing people in Washington, having those connections is actually what gets things done, whether you like it or not. And we've had a long relationship with President Ojekian for many fronts here in Bristol. And I see so many people in the community like John Lenovico and Cindy and we have partnerships right now happening on the other end of downtown. 
all of that is going to come back and benefit this place as well. We have some interesting ideas about this plaza as well that I think would tie in nicely with what Tungsis is doing in terms of partnerships. From the aspect of manufacturing too, we're excited with all the partnerships that are happening and um, even in the short time that I've been in office, um, Cindy Bombard and the Chamber of Commerce, we've been talking, we probably had several meetings, I could say, in terms of really leveraging those resources and partnerships because none of us are successful if we're all operating on independent islands. So we know that we have partners in Hartford, we have partners that are in other parts of our region, and if we can really make sure that Bristol gets its fair share, which I think in some terms it has not, we need to make sure that we do that for the people who are relying upon us. I think it's really important to understand that this is more than just Tunxis at Bristol, a storefront within Northside. It represents so much more for people who are coming here and who are looking for that community college experience. Things have changed, and things are not affordable as they once were. And what the community college system has done to align with the state universities particularly, I can name you five dozen students out of Bristol high schools who may not have been able to go on to secondary education if it wasn't for Texas. And some of them started here at this building because they weren't sure about their learning classroom abilities after maybe not having a great high school experience. So now they're EMTs, and they were successful here. So now where do they go? They take a couple courses down at the main campus, and maybe eventually they venture over to CCSU where they do something else. It's all about building blocks, just like those immigrants who were here 60, 70 years ago, learning to build a new life. So again, it's great to get out of the office, but when it has meaning, such as something like this, and people can understand the impact in a community, it makes it all the better. So I really want to thank President Lombella for having me here, and for everybody within the Community State College for investing in Bristol. 18 years may seem like a very short period of time, but it's not. When you see the vagaries of the economy and the pressures on the state budget, we are really fortunate to have you here, and we are looking forward to be positive partners in the future. Thank you. concludes our program. Thank you all for coming. Um, thank you again for all coming and speaking today. And uh, please enjoy yourselves. Have some food. Uh, the food is, was made across the street at the Mason Jar. Uh, the cake was actually made by Harvest Cafe, sir. And um, please speak to our instructors, talk about our programs. If you have any questions, we're here. Thank you.